Welcome to the Counselor AI Assist Overview. In this tutorial video, we're going to show the process for activating Counselor AI Assist, as well as how to utilize it within a patient visit. Now, Counselor AI Assist is designed to listen to conversations uh, with you, your patient, um, their caregivers, their family, and then turn that conversation very quickly into a transcript which can then be used immediately to generate text for your professional report and your chart notes. So let's begin by showing how you activate the AI Assist feature. We'll begin by clicking on Administration in the top menu bar, and then we'll select Clinic List. Now in your clinic list, go ahead and select a clinic, uh, click the Edit option, then choose Advanced Settings, and then right here we're going to select AI Assist Settings. Now if this is not already checked, go ahead and check that box, Click Close, and very importantly, click Save. If you wish to activate AI Assist for multiple clinics, of course, just go through that same process for each additional clinic. All right. Once you have activated for a specific clinic, then you will be able to use the, the Counselor AI Assist feature in a patient visit um, with a patient or the family, right, um, as needed. In the patient visit screen, to get this started, you would simply click on Actions and then AI Assist. This is going to result in a pop-up uh, allowing you to start the session. Uh, this is going to enable you to uh, view a counter showing how long the session has been going on. Uh, it's going to give you the ability to pause, right, and then of course end the session when you're ready. So I'll go ahead and just click Start Session here. Now, as we can see, the counter is starting. When I hover, it will show pause. So if I wish to pause this, simply click Pause. If I wish to restart, Go ahead and resume. When I want to finish, then we would just choose the stop and save option. Okay, But at, while this is running, it's going to listen to the conversation. Or I should mention, if you wish to dictate directly into this, uh, you can as well. So it does not have to be with a patient or their family. Uh, you could use this, uh, to, once again, to dictate your thoughts, the case history, the test results directly in. But most commonly, you would start this at the start of the patient encounter, whether it be a diagnostic evaluation, whether it be a simple clean and check, or whatever the scenario. It's collecting information along the way here. Um, and then once we're finished and you click stop, what it will do, of course, is, cr is create that transcript. Now, there's different ways to use Counselor AI Assist when you are in that patient encounter. For example, simple clean and check, you likely would start it at the beginning of the session and end it at the end of the session. Right? It will take information that was gathered throughout and help you generate your chart note in that case. Uh, if this is a diagnostic evaluation where you're going to be collecting audiologic data, well then you may be using testing equipment. So what you do in that case is typically you would go ahead, finish the case history, pause the session, you could then go ahead and launch NOAA if you use Counselor NOAA Cloud directly from here, or if you use NOAA Standalone from wherever you access NOAA. You could then complete your testing like normal. Once you finish your testing, you want to send that test data from NOAA into Counselor. You would use the Counselor Synergy module once again like normal. But it's important to note that when you do that, Counselor will open in a separate tab. Make sure you keep this original tab open because that's where this session lives. Okay, so we want to make sure to keep the original tab open. And when uh, you export the data from Synergy to Counselor, it opens a new, new tab. You can go ahead, you see the data has uh, populated in that new tab, close that tab, and then very simply click Save here in the original tab. And that will bring in all the results. So you'll be able to look over and you'll see, OK, there are the test results that we just populated. OK. Um, so regardless, whether you are collecting uh, audiologic data or using Synergy, uh, you want to keep this original um, um, you know, browser tab open. But with that said, you can navigate throughout. So if you, for example, are working with this patient and you think, oh, I need to check back on my case history. Uh, maybe the questionnaire they completed. You can jump back in that patient's profile. You can go ahead. You can open the intake, right? Or if you want to reference other information, maybe you want to look up information about their devices or just different things. Or maybe you want to jump to an entirely different part of the screen, the schedule or someplace else. The uh, AI session will will continue, right? So whether it's paused or not, it will it'll just pop back up. So it'll stay with you even as you're navigating between different screens.
Okay, so for example here, as I go from the patient administration screen back to the patient visit, that pop-up persisted. Okay. Ultimately, once you're finished with the session, as I mentioned, you would go ahead and just click stop and save. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just X out of the, well, I'm sorry, we'll go ahead and, and save this one, but this one wouldn't have great information. So what we're going to do is we're going to see the process for what happens. First off, you get a message saying it's been saved. You'll be notified when the transcription is complete. So typically here, you just click return to visit. Okay. Now, the transcription, transcription process um, only takes a short amount of time. It's, it's, based on the, uh, the time of the recording. So a shorter recording, shorter transcription process. Longer reporting, longer transcription process. Um, but the point being is we can see here, it actually is already transcribed. That's how quick that was. Uh, if it takes any longer than that, you'll see a pop-up message letting you know this transcription is done. But um, to show you a more realistic example, I'm gonna grab a previous session that I created. So we'll go into the uh, this one here, okay? In the pop-up here for the visit session detail, you can view the transcript, right? So you can look back and you can see the details of that conversation. So if there's anything you're questioning, there's something that um, maybe they said that I wasn't clear about, or um, just something I'm trying to remember exactly from that conversation, you have the transcript right here, okay? Uh, you then can apply your AI templates against this. What that means is you can basically say, okay, with this transcript, I want the AI system to help me summarize it. So let's do it here for a chart note. So what it did was it took the transcript that we have here, it ran it against the AI template for a chart note summary, and it came back with the following text. Right now, uh, we'll show in a little bit here how you can how you can manage your your AI templates. But point being is, very very quickly that uh, transcript turned into AI generated text. Same thing goes for history, same thing for results or recommendations or diagnosis codes or CPT codes, right? You can go through and you can generate that information very, very quickly. Now you also can experiment. You can say, oh, let's try a different template with that same transcript because you likely would have different uh, templates you know, particularly if you use specialized, if you do te specialized testing, uh, you might have different ones for PEDS versus like an audio, for example. If you routinely are performing audiologic evaluations and hearing aid evals, then you might use a standard template, right? You might uh, just use the same one every time. That's up to you. Uh, with anything, of course, it's very important that you review the text to make sure that it fits what you want this to say, that this is accurately represents what happened during the counter and how you want that to be documented. If you see a need for changes, you can actually edit right within the text itself. So if you want to add words, maybe you want to remove something altogether, you can do so very, very simply. Okay, there I just moved it and added it right back. Um, but you could modify text within there as well. Okay, now it's important to note that this system is also multilingual. So it gives you the ability to record sessions, to have sessions in um, different languages and have it then render the results in English. So here's an example where the session was in Spanish and then the AI generated text is in English. Or if we look here further, this one was in uh, Hindi and resulted in a chart note in English, right? So this gives you the ability to really be flexible depending on the uh, first language of the patient you're working with or any interpreters uh, so that you are sure that the end result is that you have high quality uh, uh, documentation in your reports. Okay. Now jump back to just just to jump back to that original visit. Once you are satisfied with the different bits of text that you want in. Once again, for example, in a cleaning check, you might only have it. You probably would only have a chart note, right? Whereas a diagnostic eval, you probably have a chart note, history, maybe results, recommendations. You might have more. So you do as much or as little as you need at this point, and then you simply click apply, and that will apply the text that you just generated and then edited to the, spe the specific areas, okay? Um, once again, you can edit within this as well. So if you wanna come back later and say, hey, I need to tweak this here, you absolutely can. Your templates are still available within Counselor to use if maybe you wanna supplement something or make additional modifications, or you wanna insert a table, anything like that. Um, is for part of this process, of course, it's gonna put the text into the various areas. So we can see here that we have our chart notes, we have our history. I didn't generate a result section, but here are the recommendations. Um, 
recommendations in particular, by the way, will give you some information as to uh, where that recommendation essentially came from. So in the recommendation section here, you'll see a little bit under the bottom that says AI rationale. So this is the recommendation. This tells you why uh, the system thought that it applied. So if you said, ah, you know, I don't really like one of these, great, go ahead and remove it, right? That's entirely up to you. So you have full control at that point as to what happens uh, in the visit itself. Okay. Um, once you have applied uh, those the, the, the data, if uh, there are codes in place, they will land in the Superbill area. Um, if you also have Autoelectric data in Counselor, like you sent it over from NOAA via Synergy, then you may also want to click Auto Calculate Code so that Counselor will also look at the Autoelectric data and combine that. So it's putting uh, potentially codes that you gathered via the conversation with the patient along with codes that you gathered via testing, right? And that can be both uh, diagnosis and CPT or HixPix codes. Okay, and then of course you'd follow through with your normal process of generating your super bill. Okay, so that's the process for utilizing the counselor AI assist feature within a patient visit. Uh, one of the quick note here is that you can have multiple sessions within the patient, same patient visit. Typically you'll just have one, but if you find the need to uh, start a session, maybe stop it at some point and then start another one later on, you absolutely can do that. All right. Now, very briefly, I want to show you the last thing here is how you can manage AI templates. Our goal is that uh, we can provide you with AI templates that will, will result in really high quality uh, AI generated uh, text populating your reports. But if you have special knowledge of AI prompting, you have interest in this area, you have the ability to not only create your own templates, to ex modify the existing templates, but you also can test these templates right in place. So you uh, can, of course, take any one of the templates that are already there. You can copy it, so you'll create an exact copy, and then maybe you just want to tweak a little bit. You just want to see, what if I make this one change? What happens then? Right. So you can copy it. As I mentioned, you can edit it as well. So if you click here under Edit, you can see the template itself. Now it's important to note that the AI templates are not the same as your typical history, results, recommendations templates. Those are really just kind of simple text, whereas the AI templates are telling the AI system really how to take the transcript and turn it into text that you want. So it's very, very different. So, would, so you would not copy and paste, for example, templates that you already use, let's say in the history section, into the AI templates. That would not result in quality output there. Okay, uh, but point being is if you have knowledge of prompting, if this is an area of interest for you, you can absolutely create your own templates and then without having to necessarily um, uh, go back and forth and, and, and try to test these, you can test them right here. So you would simply just click save and test. It will then give you the ability to select a patient and a visit where you can test against. So this might be a session that you just created on your own, right? It doesn't have to be a real patient encounter uh, where you say, okay, we created this test. Now I want to test it against that, uh, that session. So there we go. And now you can see a preview of what the template will do with the text, uh, with the template that was added. Then of course you say, ah, that's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make some tweaks to this and I'm gonna go ahead and test again. Or of course you can do that with as many different templates as you like. So the tool is built in here to give you the ability to really refine your templates, to test them over and over again, keep working through any, any quirks that you're seeing or preferences that you have, to get the ultimate templates that you want so that when you see that next patient, you know the templates that you have in place are gonna provide the output that you need. All right, so that is the overview on the counter AI assist uh, process of activating the feature, utilizing within the patient visit, as well as customizing templates within your account. Of course, if you have any questions, please give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help.